Psst. Hey, you! Ever wonder what would happen when a young impressionable robot empire comes into contact with organics that it wants to learn from? What do you think would happen? Would the organics be a nice friendly people who will show the robots how to behave well, resulting in them doing whatever it takes to keep their new friends safe? Or will the organics be unkind or downright aggressive and bestow all the wrong lessons onto those robots, leading to countless atrocities being committed? Now wouldn't that just be exactly what we're going to find out in this video, where we're taking one last look at the robotic empire before the new update drops. Alright, here we are. Our world, of course, uh, our ruler, the great Chumbot, who is like the coolest guy in the galaxy. And we got our totally organic world, Enzyme World, in a shiny power orb place. Let's have a little look at our side of the galaxy. It's a pretty good start. I see two planets, Alpine and Continental. The Continental world, I'm probably not gonna terraform into a machine world because we value organics. They're like snow ice planets and uh, there's desert stuff. We're probably gonna turn into machine worlds, but we're gonna try to keep those those uh, Continental worlds. There they are, and Jungle worlds, nice and pristine. So are you sure just, about that? Uh, survey this bitch and we have found our precursor the Voltom star assembly I have no idea what these guys were I think they are the guys who never invented hyperdrives but I have no clue what they give me so that's gonna be an interesting thing Escovery of alien life acknowledged. Nothing special, you know. I expect a little bit more excited from Chumbot over here, but I guess he's just not, not thrilled enough. Let's see. Our first world is nothing special. Good energy world though, and we're gonna need heaps of energy because our empire has a uh, rapid replicator, so we're gonna assemble our guys even quicker. Also have a mass produce for even more assembly speed. But we also have Luxurious, which means our assembly cost is quite a... Uh, quite expensive. Our species, of course, are the Organics. And let's see how much upkeep per... per That's a pretty substantial amount of alloys. Ah, how are we gonna deal with them? We shall greet them with open arms, because we are so thrilled by the prospect of encountering sapient Organics. And as my first tradition, I'm going to be taking expansion. Because it's going to be really handy to get even more pop assembly speed. 10%. Get another uh, pop, no, let's pause it. Another pop every uh, time we establish another colony. And of course, having cheaper star bases in both influence and upkeep is always a nice thing to have. We found some aliens to observe, maybe interact with a little bit. Some machine age aliens. Now, what do they look like? Please don't be ugly as the night. Eh, they are. <laughs> They're pretty ugly. Oh, non adaptive, decadent as well. Oh no. These uh, aren't very nice people now, are they? Xenophobe? Mm, no, we're definitely not gonna be learning good lessons from observing you organics i'll tell you that much for free have people slave their ways away around for us now we're also uh, uh colonizing a lot of worlds there are two worlds here but unfortunately this one is inhabited i was thinking like oh two more plants for me to occupy but since we are so benevolent we're not gonna be colonizing this one unfortunately now, as uh, my robotic empire is one big machine, of course we're gonna rush research. Because that's just what we are. We are walking technology, so it would only make sense for us to go heavy into technology. technology. And we've encountered our first aliens. Systems and we just complete. finished our first tradition as well, and I think it would make the most sense if we went for technological ascendancy. Besides being the most useful to me at the moment, it also makes sense since we are a robotic empire who really likes their tech. Let's go versatility. 
And it looks like they are a non-robotics, a receptive alien empire, which means they are most probably not dicks. Ah, but there's an asteroid coming in. Ah, and we found the caravaneers. Oh man, why are they so close to me? What bullshit. I need that system. Look at what great a choke point that is. Well, at least I can play the slot. <laughs> a foreign entity has decrypted Ah, oh, why are they always spiritualists? I swear to God, every time I play Stellaris, whether I usually play as materialists or robots, and it's always an infested galaxy with religious cooks. Though these are probably like the most peaceful religious cooks I've ever seen, pacifist and xenophile, though they'll probably not be too terrible. At least I'll wave my hands towards them and maybe they won't actively hate me. Well, <laughs> the organics are already trying to kill themselves. Nuclear esca uh, escalation on their planet. Tensions are brewing, nuclear war looms. If we do nothing, they will destroy themselves. Oh god! We are their only hope. Covertly infiltrate and de escalate <laughs> as robots. There's no further need for espionage. Let's try and keep them alive. It would be a shame if the if the people we're trying to observe and learn from get themselves killed. <laughs> yeah, that's very convincing stuff, man. Maybe we can learn some good lessons though. If they kill themselves, it's like ah, maybe war ain't such a bad thing after all. Ah, we found the Terran Federation, which is uh, <laughs> I've uh, put it, didn't even put it on a four spawn. It's one of my own made factions, the the uh, Starship Trooper um, <laughs> Federation. Oh boy, well at least they're not religious. Maybe I can learn from them that war and oppressiveness is the way to go. Hello, friendly people. Maybe they'll go to war. I feel like we're gonna learn a lot of bad lessons in this galaxy, but you know what? I'm totally okay with that. Communications alert. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> learning some bad things. The Terran Federation decided to declare war on the religious people. We, we were actually getting kind of close with, so that's uh, too bad about our buffer state here. Uh, why are they always religious fanatics? And they hate me. <laughs> they're, they're the worst kind. They're a fanatic spiritualist and xenophobe to boot. Oh, I hate them. But still, we are friendly robots, so surely we can make them not terribly hate us. I, I think it's a lost cause. Uh, they declared war on me now, did they? Luckily, I got some pretty decent star bases and uh, oh, bases. I got a star base. This one here isn't ready yet. So that one's just gonna go away. But after that, they will not really have any way of getting past Breslin Station, which is a two and a half thousand space no. station with my 1.6k fleet. Though they have uh, quite substantial amount of ships. Are these cruisers already? Um, nah, they're just destroyers and spamming corvettes. Okay, well, uh, evacuate uh, the, this place. I got three colony ships on the way, which are definitely just gonna hang behind here for a little while. And be a drain on my economy. At this point, I've built up enough strength that I think I'm kinda gonna push into their territory. And they have two choices, either they stay here and faff around and do nothing, or they try to fight us over here, which is preferable, because we outweigh their fleet power at this moment. Let's see, let's have a look at the status quo thing. Our relative navy strength is about the same, which means they still got one fleet hanging around over there somewhere, I gotta be mindful of that. And they're gonna try try to attack a Breslin, but I don't think they're gonna be able to pierce through this station. So let's charge them, see what happens. Here is the second fleet that we were worried about, but we are just gonna intercept them before stuff hit the fan. Damn, we killed a lot of them. Their hyperdrives must be ass. 
Because they were trying to reunite with their fleets here. Look at them. They're already trying to make their way over there. We're going to try and pincer Hostile us. Fleet assets but engaged. they failed. Let's actually see what the status quo power is now. I want to keep this war going just a little bit more. Because I want this relic world. Let's engage Alert. them. Spaceport engaged. That's right. To stick together. But I anticipate no need for problems. Constructed. Technological acquisition successful. There we go. Oh man, they just capitulated and everything. That's actually pretty bad. Construction ships. I need you to go over to this place on the double. I want it and I want it now. Communications alert. Subjugation request of these guys. Oh man. We're, yeah, I feel like this is pretty... Uh, pretty apt with what we've been doing because we've been uh, waging wars we've been learning bad lessons of these guys so surely we would want to subjugate these guys start shit with the Terran Federation I agree so uh -oh. missing war goal. our ally is under attack we can't stand for the Ooh. oh they got a lot of fleets well uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> good luck, you're on your own. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Well, the battle is met. The enemy has split up their fleets and now we are decimating them. The Terran Federation will not have this part of the galaxy and we're doing a thing. Very cool, thanks for the artifact. Now let's keep moving. Let's reclaim our benevolent, religious people. <laughs> I like how they've gone from pacifist to militarist. They're getting more and more uh, zealotous. I don't like it. Come on, guys. Let's let's not bypass. We bypassed each other. No, get back. Engage him. Uh, they really want to fight us as well. Okay, just keep hanging around here then. Communications intercepted. Oh, hey guys, how goes it, fellow robots? Yes. Engage. Surely we will win this. Oh yeah, no problem, the Terran Federation is toast. And finally, we have finished off versatility, because we've been kind of focusing our tech and economy, and the Unity has been taking a little bit of a back seat. I'm thinking about taking Mastery of Nature, because then my planets will get uh, two more districts, every single one of them, and I'm swimming in, uh, in influence. Nothing really else that I want right now. I want Synthetic Age later. Colossus seems like a good choice of all the wars that's been going on. And of course these three, that still leaves me one more or so, so Mastery of Nature it is. And like that, the war is won, and we've reclaimed the systems that were so unjustly taken from our allies. Also, their fleet power has grown quite a lot since I gave them a bunch of uh, alloys to build their own fleet with. Well, we just found the homeworld of a really retarded species. <laughs> it's like, oh, we got a moon which is rich in resources. Let's build a giant ass magnet and pull it towards the planet. And then, lo and behold, the planet got wiped. What a bunch of idiots. We found Special another project. empire, somehow oppressive but peaceful and materialist. But at this point, I feel like our subroutines have gone to from friendly to vigilant. Ah, and we can f figure out what we want for our next tree. I say prosperity, because I you like, like money. money. And the Voltam homeworld has been located. Ah, and it's nice and in the middle of my empire. Excellent. Let's see what it gives us. Our first relic. 
And the ruined world. Let's see, the Omni Codex has been unearthed. This unique device contains the genetic sequence of every race that the Omni were able to sample and can recreate them using only basic elements as raw materials. Unfortunately, it seems the Omni did not have time to perfect it before meeting their annihilation. So there is no means of selecting which of the many sampled races would be created in any given activation of the device. And we found our first relic. Let's see what it does. Uh, it's useless to us. Absolutely worthless. Because we can't use uh, non-robotics. Because that comes all along in the next update. Which I'm very excited about. And it spans, spawns pops on a planet that are extinct. But uh, wouldn't you know it. I can't make use of them. Unless I go like full slaver on them. But that would be kind of evil and we're not that evil yet well we found the vault on reality perforator and uh, it's a uh, pretty decent with uh, limiting the amount of amenities is used they were apparently some like hyper gamer nerds and found out that they were in fact inside of a video game so they just disconnected themselves by uh, blowing themselves up i wonder how that went for them Probably not very well. Oh well, what a shame for them. Priority alert. Malignant forces are moving against us. Well, looks like the Terran Federation wants to have another go. Well, since we still have a pretty substantial fleet, let's see what they've got. They got about 12, nah, 13,000, and we only have about 9,000. But surely they'll mess up System sometime and divide up their fleets like they're already doing right now well let's just humiliate them once more even though that won't do a whole lot for me and extract some exotic gas and the galactic community is being formed let us join it alert oh wow that's just a hey there's a hive mind i'm sure we'll get along with them good more militaries, it is, this is one hostile, look at the democratic crusaders as well, this place sucks. Wow, we just got insanely lucky. It was a countdown clock and BAM, gas giant turns into Gaia world with a lot of extraction places to boot. Excellent. Fanatic purifiers. We will destroy you. Detected. And with our fur the third uh, tradition tree done, I can go into the synthetic age, really start souping up my population. Though I really gotta turn some planet into unity production, cause my god, we are slow. <laughs> oh man. And this was a complete and utter sits creek. Nothing happened. They just faffed around this starbase and refused to move. What a waste of time and money. What the hell do you guys want? Uh, the supply thing and missing. What? We don't know of no supply ship. I just don't want them to have those minerals that I'm stealing. Man, really, no one likes me in this galaxy. Alert. Oh, it's only these guys because we've got mutual deck uh, people we don't like and actually for once they are no religious people though no, these guys are and they're not too particularly loyal non-aggression pack by more more uh, weird religious people now that is uh, real strange sure we'll be nice with you but I think I want to blow up the Terran Federation because they have been really busting my balls. And I don't like that. We finally unlocked our final uh, civic slot and I think we're going to go for OTA updates because our uh, Empire Sprawl is getting pretty hefty at this point. It's especially from Pops and this one uh, limits the Pop sprawl by about 20 percent so that should do very well for our unity and research once we activate it let's have a look see at what that does yeah that was a not insignificant amount about like 60 about about 20 productivity that's not nothing 
And with our ascension perks towards synthetics, I think we're gonna just increase our synthetics even more. Less amenities, more output, 10%, that is not nothing. Extra machine modification points, yep, synthetics it is. And look, we've gone down from 110 to 86. We're getting there ever so slowly. Council agenda available. And it looks like the slavers over here have finally discovered our presence. Ah, there you are. We've been waiting for you to initiate contact for so long. We decided to make the first move. What happens now? We are one. You are many. So, let's see what this means means for our spying network here. We're not gonna plant any advanced knowledge, they can just sit here and do their own thing, but I'm not gonna relinquish these star systems to them, because Photosynthesis Prime is over here, and I'm mining the hell out of that place. You're not getting anything. We actually got a relic. Let's see if this thing is not terribly terrible. Let's see, passive effect is 5% research speed, and active effect is uh, extra whole oh, random technology. Ooh. Oh yes, let's see what we get. Improved cruiser hulls. Not good, not terrible. I was kind of hoping for mega engineering. But I think it's time to declare a tiny bit of a war against these zealots. Because uh, we've been learning a lot of bad lessons and I think it's time we just go over to their home, home world and bomb it just a little bit. Well, it looks like these uh, early space age slavers want independence for themselves. Unfortunately for them, we got photosynthesis in the planet behind them. Which means, uh, too bad, a laughable demand that you want your own star base. This is all mine. <laughs> End of the empire of photosynthesis, oh no. What implications could that have? Um, too bad? What are we doing to you guys? Amalgamated, I think that means we're matrixing them. But I mean, we're not that evil yet. So let's simply deport them. For now. They're like a terrible species anyway. They are intelligent as such. Great research as these guys are, but too bad. Let's see, sit right. Citizenship, slaves, nah, I think more... Or can I... Oh, no, I can't work him to death, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Undesirables and displacement seems good. They're not gonna kill them off. That would be too evil. My economy is doing pretty damn well at this point. Like, I spent the first 50 or 60 years just building up an economy because all these planets are just a massive drain on everything. But at this point, our research is starting to look very healthy. It was 2k just a little while ago. And uh, our unity is also crawling up a little bit. But don't look at the energy credits. We can, our economy can take it. Don't mind the energy shortages here as well. It just took a little while to get all the base resources going until I could really start going Ship into teching. And at the moment I'm not upgrading these research places because we don't have enough labor for it. Plus, we're kind of hemorrhaging our exotic gases. I got a lot of refineries and it's yet it's still not enough. Alright, the military has arrived. I think it's time to show these guys what's what. I'd make uh, made a bunch of claims so I can finally start tearing down a bunch of these space stations because they are a waste of space. Haha, <laughs> space. So anyway, we're gonna take their L cluster so they can't mess around with that one anymore and get just a really nice choke point over here. Let's go to war. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. Uh oh, he went in too quick. Hostile fleet assets. They're running away from us. Uh oh, they're engaging. I believe. Oh yeah, they just bucked out of there, no problem. And since they're also Hostile already at war engaged. with this faction over here... Oh, no, their war ended. Ah, well, that's unfortunate timing. No, they are at war. Oh, they are the vassal of the Terran Federation, which means I also... 
also started a war with them. Whoops, sorry ally, I uh, hope everything goes well for you. Though it appears that the Terran Federation is up here in the north. Well, let's take care of them too. I hope you enjoy rockets. Wow, they were just all dead. They must have had an admiral or a uh, doctrine of uh, active that made them unable to retreat, which is fine with me. Ooh, I reverse engineered some arcane technology and got my hands on a class 4 singularity, which is one of the fallen empire uh, energy reactors, which I think gives 250 energy, which is very needed indeed. I keep needing to sell shit. I expanded way too far fast for my own good, but damn it, you can't stop me. Go guys, I have total faith in you. Look at the rockets coming in. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Okay, well, they once again bucked out like the cowards they are. But I feel like we might want to retreat a little bit and lick our wounds. Ship fragment. Hostile stationary asset engaged. And with the fall of this space station, I think I can finally get the piece that I want. Yes, achieve war goals. Okay, okay, come on. I know you want to. Communications. There we go. The Krieg is vorbei. On relic. Yeah. We've destroyed the mine at the mining drone base and managed to recover most of its stores of processed minerals and precious alloys. <laughs> I wouldn't say 500 is all that much, but sure. But I also found a relic, the Surveyor. Now, let's have a look at you. Sensor range plus one and I can scan a planet. And look at this. I get five minerals here. Now let's immediately start gathering that stuff. And look at that, the five minerals that we got has already turned Alert. into nine. Standard space we get the, if you get that thing real early, you might be able to really snowball your uh, space mines. Alas, I noticed it only very, very late. Well, that is uh, <laughs> incredibly generous. The enigmatic observers just say, oh, our tech isn't good enough, even though we are better than everyone else in tech in the galaxy so they give me more yes please thank you though i still need to fix my constant energy problems there's just no end to that stuff Ugh. for my next ascension perk i'm thinking about synchronicity so that my leaders stop dying on me and I get a lot less empire size from pops and a few other buffs, but it's mostly these two that I really want. What do I get from just adopting it? Let's have a look. Oh, pop upkeep as well. Yes, please. I'll be taking this. Thank you. As if I didn't have enough research already, here come the custodian matrix to give me even more research. That's like 50% extra for a few years. Hell yes. Finally, Mega Engineering. Jesus, I thought it was never gonna drop. The Endgame Crisis will be there in 45 years and I am not prepared to deal with whatever they're gonna throw at me. So, God, it took so long. I wanted Science Nexuses and all that stuff. But I had to make do with a bunch of habitats instead. Looks like it's time to go to war. We're about to be uh, invited into the Galactic Council and to weaken the Terran Federation we're gonna go to war with them as well. They've been an enormous pain in my ass and they're gonna pay for it now. Their power is severely falling and they're now equivalent to us. That combined with our allies over here that are equivalent to us and our uh, little little vassal who's inferior to us, we will be stomping them, no problem. Though we did also start a war with these guys, which I'm a little less happy about. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Space entity encounter.
Looks like the Terran Federation fleet is trying to get away, but Hostile they won't be in time, engaged. at least. I don't think Hostile so. Yeah, assets. you're gonna get it now. My ship's got an upgrade. Yeah, now they're taking some mass casualties. Excellent. Let's start bombing Seoul. It's the only logical choice. Oh, crap! The Terran Federation decided to attack us from the north. And we are so far away. Oh, that is bad. There's like 40k coming along our way and we only have uh, this. This is all we got. Uh, uh, build defense platforms. Quickly, now. Is there anything I can put in my government that uh, really uh, increases that? Ah, Starways upgrade speed. I hope that counts. Uh, uh, well... Yeah, I gotta activate all these things. We're not gonna win that battle, but I sure as hell gonna t try. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. No, no, don't go away. Stay here. Defend my Ship station. I was like, second. wow, my allies. Wow, I'm impressed with the AI. They're gonna help and protect um, my, my space station over here with this massive fleet approaching. But they're just fucking off. Come back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, um, uh, you don't want to piss me off, I'll fucking nuke you next. Ah, they seem to be going to pass me by, thank god for that. Because we would Alert. not be able to take care of that 40k fleet over there. Our space station is barely 30k. Oh uh, well, uh, bye bye enjoy uh, vandalizing my ally. He dragged me into this and he did not- oh man, that's even more- Jesus, how many fleets do you got? Wow, if only they weren't so shit and just pushed in from both sides, maybe we'd be in trouble. But we're not. I wouldn't have better coming from this wormhole that is... Oh, that's what it. Uh, what the deal is. Which means all of their fleets are really far away. Wow, the Great Khan woke up about 75 years late. I feel like he's just gonna get his ass beat by all the AI. Well, uh, yeah, you're the great con. I do not care. You... You are very, very late. What a damn shame. And he's also far away, which means I can't kill him and grab the relic from him, which is doubly bad. Now let's see if we can't kill off Floor. I want a Void Cloud of Lightning in case something really bad decides to come my way. And I need to kill him to get that, even though he's 30k fleet power. And it's not even guaranteed that I can get it. Uh, sorry, Flory, you may be, uh, you know, kind of neutral and such, but I don't like neutrals. So, let's get close to him and engage. Fleet assets engage. And there goes the end of floor. Oh, I got a bunch of uh, dark matter. Please, please, yes! Cloud lightning, science ships, get on that pronto. Good, that went exactly according to plan. I like it when a plan comes together. Oh shit, the great cons here? They went through a goddamn wormhole! Oh, you, you great con. Oh. <laughs> well, that's fine. I was trying to explore the wormhole, but it wouldn't let me. But the, Oh, man, he seems to be expanding a little bit. But I won't surrender. Damn it, and my fleets are way away in this territory. It's gonna take him, what, a year? Two years to get there, damn. Well, looks like I'm just gonna have to let him have his filthy way with us. I don't like it. What the hell is that? Oh, damn. Sort of you. Looking epilepsy warning over there. Could you please kill just anything? Please? Ah, oh, this station sucks. And it's a combat station and everything. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Well, at least the war is over. Diplomatic alert. Supernatural no. entity no. established. Let's hope that that is not bad, guys. 
It's kind of this side of the galaxy that decided to conspire against, well, probably me. And I don't like it. Looks like the Great Khan is trying to run away from me. At least, I assume this is the Great Khan because it's a 20k star galleon. And the other way, one was only 10k. Hostile fleet assets engage. Come on, let's kill him. Damn, that thing sure can take a lot of punishment, and it was the Khan. Good. Though he's gonna respawn with a really big fleet next time, though I doubt he'll be able to withstand my 120k fleet power. Special project complete. Oh wow, we, all, we already finished the Colossus project, that took no time at all. I finally unlocked Titans and now we're gonna start blowing stuff up. As a voice it's gonna be total war against the Terran Federation. I'm sick of them being a uh, being an, a nuisance in my backyard. I'm gonna blow up Earth and that whatever research planet they got at Alpha Centauri, New Jamestown, and it will be glorious. The Great Khan Foros of Ismail, whatever the horde, my defeat at the hands of the fellow organics was a minor setback, nothing more. The organics are brave warriors and worthy opponents, but they too will fall before us. The tide of history is sweeping across the galaxy and nothing can stop it. My new armada has been assembled. Swear fealty to me now while you still have time. Let's have a look, see at what's here. God, I can't see for shit. Let's see, it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so... <laughs> Maybe we uh, want to wait for them to split up. I can't take that on, like, right right now. If only he had woken up, like, 50 years sooner. He could have woken up 75 years sooner. Now then we would have an interesting battle. I'd probably just uh, let him have his filthy way with me, but uh, now... Hostile fleet assets. Now it is I who shall have my filthy way with him. Probably want to activate some of my, uh, my stuff here. Alright, let's get him. Ah, uh, poor Khan. I seem to be having a little bit of trouble with these Corvettes since I got all these super heavy weapons on my ships. Maybe I want to use a few more destroyers. But there goes the Great Khan. The Great Khan of the Bloody Blah Horde is dead. According to Interceptor Transmissions, passed away naturally at some point during the last few days as a result of their advanced A. What? 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 What do you mean? I killed them in this battle. What are you on about? Oh, fuck off. Well, I guess I'm not getting that relic. What a load of bullshit. Oh boy, did I get shafted or what? What? <laughs> Fine, I'll just blow up some planets to let off some steam whenever that planet cracker of mine is up and operational. Damn you, Khan. Okay, it's a new day for me, and I remember distinctly getting really screwed over by the great Khan. I killed him, and the game just said no, he died of old age, it was bullshit. I killed him, and then it said, oh no, you did not. But, uh,. I think it's safe to say that the Great Khan will, would have been the final straw. And I think we are gonna be building as Colossus. The organics seems, uh, seem really, really hell-bent on just starting wars everywhere. So we're gonna do it as efficiently as possible by building a planet cracker, which will have a Death Star laser. Because why build a Colossus and go half the way? We're gonna go all the way and we're gonna crack those planets with a hyper beam. We're not gonna shield them or whatever. Because the galaxy is so unfriendly. 
And why is everything ever religious? I swear to God, there's something wrong with my like source code or whatever. I keep getting just every faction has something resembling spiritualism in them. My allies, my enemies, my everything except these guys. These are the only ones that have materialism. Why is that so hard to get in this space place? Ugh. Well, anyway, wait until that uh, that Colossus is completed. We're gonna sit around and then. We're gonna set our sights on the Terran Federation, who are now weakened, especially with our allies being thrown in the mix. And because we're feeling so warlike, I think the next one of our ascension trees is gonna be supremacy. I was thinking about doing diplomacy, but with everyone being as shit as it is, I think no. No diplomacy, discovery, nah, domination, fun, but we're just gonna kill everyone. So, supremacy it is. You made us this galaxy. This is all your own fault. Alright, everyone has arrived. <laughs> These uh, Terran Federation fools don't know what's coming for them. My ships have uh, just about reached their final form. Let's have a look. I got a few Corvettes with rockets. Still need a little bit of an upgrade. Oh, and an afterburner. Destroyers also just great at bombarding places. The cruisers get into the artillery roll, but are a little harder to hit and a bit more maneuverable. Got artillery battleships. Also still need a tier 2 kinetic uh, artillery battery. But it's about as good as it gets. Also have some titans that wither down the enemy shields. And of course, my beautiful... Death Star, the endless peace. And we're gonna bring peace to Seoul first. Right, let's declare that war. Total Krish! Diplomatic alert. Oh, yeah. War protocols initiated. Oh, they are so screwed. Let's have a look at this bad boy opening up. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we go. Let's have a look at the planet before it goes away. Administrative parks, bunch of food, cloning vets as well. So they went into the genetics route. Bunch of crime. Well, we'll fix that for you by any means necessary. You made us do this. You turned us into this. Just a little more and... Boop! World cracked. <laughs> Let's have a see. A hyperspace pipe is a hyperspace planning. Um, okay. Well, uh, bye bye, Earth. And apparently now there's a hyperspace lane. Let's also blow up uh, that uh, giant ass habitat here while we're at it. And I'm very curious as to where that wormhole may lead, so explore it for me. And firing. Let's see if this actually destroys the uh, habitat or whether it just goes empty. Oh, damn, it has a ruined uh, picture. Yeah, they even took the time to do all of that. I'm impressed. Right, next place. Hostile stationary asset engaged. And there goes Jamestown. Construction complete. Nice. Technological. There goes another one. Engage. And away goes the last planet in the Alpha Centauri system. Good. That's just the way I like it. Beautiful. Hostile that sure is a nice activity. trading center that you have. It would be a shame if someone were to come along and. Make it disappear. Ah, genocide. It's, it's gone. All these poor humans. All they wanted was to kill bugs and instead they got robots instead. You sure you're not playing the other game? Ah, what's that thing called? Helldivers? There you're fighting robots. Oh well. <laughs> Hostile stationary asset. And that's the end of yet another one of their research worlds. 
Well, let's move on to the next one. Oh, man, our mega structures are coming along splendidly as well. Luckily for me, a bunch of the uh, whole swaths of territory are going to my ally, which is great because my empire sprawl is really fucking me. And because I practically leave nothing unmolested in this area, it's just a bunch of wasted space that I don't want. So that is excellent. Maybe I'll relinquish these territories over as well. Who knows? And here comes the end of New Troy. Let's have a thought if this is. Ah, oh, just a recent colonization effort. And there it goes. Hustle. Hustle. Here is the last fleet that they've got. You're not so tough now anymore, are you? And in the meantime, I've been building quite the portal network in my home territory. I think we've weakened them quite enough. The Terran Federation needs not to die right now. They can serve as a buffer. Well, congratulations, Terran Federation. You somewhat survive for now. We've reached the point where the endgame crisis can spawn any second now. And our economy is looking pretty good, our fleets as well, but they are a little underpowered. Or I can crap out like two or three more. And if I combine everyone together, I think I should be able to take care of them. I'm also thinking if the endgame crisis doesn't show up quickly enough, then I shall become the crisis myself. Because we've learned a lot of bad shit during all this thing. Blowing up planets and all that jazz. And these three are all looking pretty damn scary. This one has superior fleet power to me, while these two have equivalent fleet power to me. Technological so that's gonna be fun when that war breaks out, but we'll just have to see whether the endgame crisis shows up on time or not. And for my last Ascension Tree, I'm gonna go for Domination, because the la this is the last one that gives me less Empire size from both districts, and when I complete this one, from Pops, which is very welcome indeed, also increases my Menial Drone output, which means I'm gonna get a lot more minerals and maybe power, I don't remember whether that's Menial, but Domination it is, because all the rest is getting kinda worthless, there was either Domination or Unyielding. But I plan on being aggressive, not passive. I think it's high time to finally clear out the organic filth from our planet. We I hate them at this point. So machine worlds it is. And the last one is probably gonna be become the crisis by that time the uh, uh, endgame crisis hasn't shown up yet. But time to clear all that filth away from here. Because we hate them now. They've time and again proven themselves aggressive and all that jazz. So more, 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 more robot planets. I want every single one turned into a nice metal encasing. I like how the uh, stagnant descendancy is starting to fear me. Is that, oh, the destruction you cause, the damage you cause is beginning to grow from fascinating to troubling. Watch yourself, because we are always watching. Well, maybe you should pay a little bit more attention, because there's a giant fleet heading your way, which is fitted to take care of you with your, uh, with our committers and such. Where's your fleet? You decided to declare a war on these guys that I didn't notice, so whoops. I think it's time to declare war on these fools. And we're just gonna do for a normal claim. Diplomatic alert. So if war things go horribly issue. wrong, we won't be in too much trouble. Ah, here's their fleet. 300k and they seem not interested in attacking me whatsoever unless they go for my gateway. Well, since there's no real fleet present over here of the enemy, I guess I'll... Just cheekily go back to my territory. What kind of tech did I get? Special project complete. Hey, I tamed an Eater Drake. How funny. What's that do for me? Can I see what your. Uh, I cannot see at all. Well, you're just gonna be a trophy to Leviathan for me then. And we're finishing off domination, and there goes the crisis. We shall be the crisis. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Eh, eh, 
Hey, the dark matter stuff, right. Scientist, go. I want that and I want it yesterday. Now, their main fleet is lying right here. I got about 60, 150, about 300 fleet power. They also have 300. But I kind of refitted my fleet to be very good against them. The devs sure did buff those Fallen Empire fleets. I remember it was just like 200k at the most. Oh my god, we're annihilating them. Wow, I did not uh, expect us to be uh, that unbelievably deadly. My god, they melted like snow. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll take it. I'll take that and run with it. And our empire has reached its maximum size with, uh, well, at least our planet's Alert. capability to house our pops has reached maximum size. So everywhere now has drone population controls enabled. Which means uh, no more new drones. About 1600, 550 is uh, as much as we're gonna have. In the meantime, while these guys refuse to surrender, I'm just gonna keep blowing up these hedonistic people. They deserve it. Alert, spaceport engaged. Ah, and in the meantime, our megastructures are still being built and the crisis is still yet to come. They're about 25 years late at this point and that's a little sad. If all goes well, this should be the end of the Fallen Empire. Successful. I think. Yeah, there we go, conquer. I don't think they've... Ah, there they go. Threat neutralized. Oh, you foolish, foolish organics. This could have been avoided if only you had allowed us to guide you. Now look at what you've done. And away they go. Aha, and there comes the next chain of our menacing laws. Well, I guess the watchful regulators weren't very happy with me killing off their friends. Well, that's fine. Oh, I say that's fine. All of a sudden they got from equivalent to overwhelming, which means I probably want to pay a little more attention just to, you know, where their fleets are. But I'm definitely going to be declaring war on you. I had it easy with these oh, decrepit fools. But I'll make sure you decrepit fools pay for your insolence. Arrogant? Pah. And I will never submit to your regulations. And now the beauty that was once the Gaia world is also encased in steel. Look at the amount of fleets that they've got. One 360k fleet, one 330k fleet and another one of 168. Let's hope that's all of them because uh, I don't know, think if we can take many more. Let's declare war on these fools as well. I'm total crash. Diplomatic alert. <laughs> protocols in Now let's see what their move is. Will they just stay here? Will they unite? Well, let's take this opportunity while it presents itself. Take out this fleet right now. Alright, let's go. Oh boy. Oh, things are gonna go horribly wrong. Okay, this might actually be good. Except for my Colossus. Run away! Oh, he's so dead. He is so dead. Well, let's get these two fleets then. Executing that cursed station is really fucking me here. Whoa, 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 let's slow it on down. Guys, keep your distance. There we go, our arc emitters and void cloud lightning is just mincing them, going straight through their shields and armor. Go away, you're interrupting the battle. Beautiful work, guys. Ha! You're too late. Oh god, at this point I can see who's who. Oh my god, look at that war exhaustion immediately 100%. Haha! <laughs> oh, ya fools. Get the blasting. <laughs> yeah. There goes another one. 
And away goes another one. Oh, and there goes the final before we declare war on everyone. A bit of menacing. And we still have one more planet to blow up. Ship augmentation it is complete. time to declare war on the main federation. They got a lot of stuff, but I have more stuff. I also released my subject so I can easily eat up all his territory with my star eaters. So let's declare that war. And it's gonna be a total war. Ah, I got damn it, gonna end my federation association. Damn it, gotta wait another 10 years. Never mind. It is time to declare complete and total war on these fools. Which is great, I had sat around for 10 years doing absolutely nothing, it's watching the countdown until I can finally start. And now the time is here, the entire galaxy besides these fanatics over here, versus me. Who will win? It's me! Of course I'll win, oh god the entire galaxy is having a bad time. This is there's probably going to be a lot of battles over here at the Elgate, which is exactly why I deployed one entire fleet to police this place. Alert! Spaceport engaged. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Look at the amount of menacing points that I'm getting. This Alert. is what I'm talking about. Screw blowing up planets. Who needs it? I'll just blow up these space Alert. stations space and port destroy port all the engaged. enemy fleets. And again, ugh, this fleet is... Oh my god! Ah! We're losing! Station I got a sand reinforcements right now. Luckily I got uh, elk uh, pretty much... Uh, what are they called? The fucking gateways all over the place. So jump to the gateway, jump to the elk gate and... Uh, hey! I need a thousand Sison Sphere. Nice of you to show up. My fleet is dying! Help us! Please! The entire federation fleet, he's got a bug out. No! I, that's the exact one thing that I was trying to avoid. My god, look at the amount of... Holy shit, there's so many. Okay, well, change of plan. Everyone goes to the L gate. Holy shit. I, uh, I may have bitten off more than I can chew, but hey, uh, fucking... Uh, let's take a look at the crisis. Hey, we're so close. I gotta shit out more fleets, holy crap. And here I thought it was gonna be boring. Hostile fleet oh god, everyone Alert. is dead. Engage. Alert. Space it won't be engaged. long until they uh, they they enter the L gate into my territory. Oh boy, I fucked up. Everyone, please get to the L gate and wait there, cause we're gonna have to go in all at the same time instead of one Alert. by one. Oh, we gotta start shitting out ships like nobody's business. Titans, battleships. Alert. Oh god, my poor juggernaut! Run for your life, motherfucker! Hostile fleet assets. Actually, we might win this. Yeah, this is not the L cluster fleet. Never mind, we're all Alert. good. Military station constructed. Alert. Aha! Engaged. The fleet is here. Ugh, oh, but so is more of theirs. So God damn, there's so many. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Priority alert. Malignant ah, alert. this will be glorious. Do I have the star eaters yet? Because I need to start eating stars. The Eterophasic Engine. Everything will be consumed. Yes. How much uh, dark matter do I have? Oh, only six. Oh god, we're running out. Our ships is... Uh, they're expensive, you know. Well, let's try to just buy a bunch of it. Oh god, what is this? Uh, Star Eaters. Alert. Hostile fleet I know of a really weak, sad empire that we can try to gnaw on. So let's start with this one. Alert. All right, we've Space blown up our first system. Alert. Hostile it's a fleet nice amount of dark matter. But let's keep going. Crack star, crack Alert. star, ah, crack their capital star. There goes another one. 
Whoops, don't Our enter orbit with a crazy crack those car stars, of course. Hostile stationary asset. The enemy's engaged. main fleet dares bombard my planets, not on my watch. Git. Alert, spaceport engaged. The situation has stabilized somewhat, which is great. But the L cluster is definitely a problem. Look Alert. at them, they're just Space constantly streaming into my territory from there. Go, Star Eater, work Alert. your magic! Standard space entity encountered. Alert, spaceport engaged. Planetary invasion alert. Surface control has been compromised. Alert, military... And boom goes the dynamite! Heh <laughs> heh. I think at this point I have enough to start upgrading to the first phase, Alert. maybe? No. Nope. God, I need to kill a lot of people. Oh well. You made me do this, Organics. You brought this on yourselves. This is what I tell myself to sleep at night. Terry Station deconstructed. Oh! Oh, look at that! Look at that! The fucking contingency came along fucking also this fucking... 50 years late, if not more. So the the Great Khan woke up 75 years late, and now the Contingency wakes up 50 years late. What am I to make of that? Put the difficulty higher and get absolutely slapped around whenever, you know, whenever they do wake up on time. Ah, what a load of ball. Ah, we got leaks in the Empire. I gotta send one of my also fleets fleet back. Because they're, they're trickling in through all sorts of openings I didn't anticipate. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alert. Construction unit engaged. There. Out of my territory. Out! Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Hostile stationary assets Damn engaged. you and your balanced ships. What are these things? Oh, they're they're weird white rock things, huh? That looks strange. I feel like all of their Corvettes are having my ass. acquisition successful. Because we cannot hit them. All of their large ships are no problem. Those damned Corvettes sure are. Alert. I gotta sit here and Alert. lick my Spaceport wounds, get all the fleets together, Alert. and try Science to push out this offline. one enormous mega fleet. Retreat, Juggernaut! Alert. It's not worth it! Military station <laughs> Alert. Alert. Space ah, engaged. look who finally could be bothered to show up! Hostile stationary asset engaged. Aha, there is the first one. Oh, right in the middle of my enemy's territory. Yeah, let's see who created you. We are the offspring of some civilization. Uh, intelligence, blah -de blah and we, they needed to kill life by killing off those who get Hostile too technologically advanced. Engaged. Like what exactly is what I am doing. Oh well, what a damn shame. Alert, spaceport engaged. The second Planetary one is right alert. here, Malignant also in an atmospheric bad position. Let's see, sterilization have next player, uh... Uh oh, I think this fallen empire also turned against us. Oh yes, of course. Alert. Spaceport They've engaged. gone berserk! Oh. <laughs> we really Hostile gotta finish this fucking engaged. thing off before we get completely overrun by both Contingency and the galaxy at large. A third machine world. Alert. Hostile oh, and once engaged. again in the middle of their territory, I'll oh, have fun exploding with uh, Contingency Hostile units. Fleet I'll just engaged. be over here. Enjoying my time building my etherophasic engine. Invasion alert. Engage. A fourth one. Oh, that's a bit close to my planet cracker. I was wanting to blow that place up, but I guess I'm not allowed to. That's fine. We'll just crack some other things instead. Alert. Let's hope they don't Space find an L gate, though, because then things are going to get even alert. more confusing than they already control. are. Does uh, does does my uh, let's have a little look see the whether the um where is it this one the ambitions work architectural renaissance 
It was 200 and something days. Let's have a look. Oh, it totally does work. Good. That should help me Alert. finish off Space this thing in time. Hopefully. Fleet oh, fuck. There goes the second no. Go away. Run. What are these contingencies? Oh, 600k. Get out of here. Please. Engaged. You're way too expensive to lose like this. Okay, good. And I'll use the jump drive to just uh, go this way. Alert. Oh, so that was close. Assets detected. Oh god, there's another one. Jump quickly! Oh, that was close. Gage. Aha! We must gather more dark matter. What about we start building? Because we already have enough for this phase. Now we need a bit about 50k more for the next phase, I think. So we just need to crack a few thousand per hundred more stars. Oh shit. Wait, are you winning? Ha <laughs> ha! Noobs! Fools! Ah, someone killed out the contingency killed the curate as well, no matter. They suck anyway, and Chumbot is getting a uh, he's getting a little uh, <laughs> he's getting overwhelmed. <laughs> Endless aggression loop, oh god. <laughs> well keep on cracking. The, the aggression he's just all the aggression in the galaxy and he's trying to lure it from the organics, he's just going haywire. More killing, more murdering. We're the new contingency. I don't think I can take out all of these guys though. Let's see, it's about 100, 200k and we've got... Nah, we can match that. Let's get them. Before they get more reinforcements. Don't like having lost this dark matter place. That was helping me out greatly. Spaceport engaged. Now let's make doubly sure that all of these things are on. Aha, I knew it. Get back on. Alert. Yeah, Fleet yeah, in defeat in detail. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert, spaceport engaged. Alright, we managed to save this mining planet, but this research planet we did not save. But that's fine, I don't need research anymore anyway. I like how this machine empire, fallen empire, has declared war on the entire galaxy. Except for me, it's like they're on my side. I think to save the the universe, maybe we gotta let them activate that Eterophasic engine so that all the planets, including those of the contingency, will detonate. Acquisition successful. Very clever of them. You Alert. see, you Space think they've gone engaged. berserk because they don't know what they're doing, but they they have the long vision. I respect that. Spaceport engaged. Oh shit! Oh no! Mm, the contingency! They can, they found one of these these gateways! Oh no! Oh no! Six hundred thousand! I gotta refit my ships! Ship augmentation right. is completed. Let's hope this is the last part. Only forty thousand of this stuff we've got left. And we are Ship running out of safe territory to explode or explore. Uh, exploit. While the enemy is very busy with us. Oh god, they want not that. Run away! A great disturbance. Psionic realm is being slowly ripped apart by partially malfunctioning megastructure. Many of the beings who dwell there are lashing out in anger and desperation. Several have burrowed through the rapidly disintegrating barriers between our two worlds and manifested as powerful psionic entities. Consisting of raw, barely contained psionic energy, the confused beings are attacking everything inside. We will make short Alert. work of them. standard space entity encountered. Is there even one inside of my territory? <laughs> no, they're like, fuck the entire galaxy. Though I don't think this psionic entity is very long for this world. Alert. Yet another intensive energy spike has been detected in a previously uncharted system. The energy levels are equivalent to those that we registered when the contingency activated its machine world, but the energy signature itself appears different. Could this signify the appearance of some kind of new contingency weapon system? We're picking up a strong transmission signal from the energy source. On screen! We are the Cybrex. 
For several hundred thousand cycles, we have remained hidden and uninvolved in galactic affairs. However, we have been monitoring the present situation with the machine entity you know as the Contingency and can no longer remain impartial observers. To protect the sapient beings of the galaxy, we are commencing active military operations against the Contingency. Do not be alarmed by the passage of our fleet. You will not be harmed. Ah, now this is where the Cybrex went off to. I've never seen it before. I've never fucked up this hard against the Contingency. Granted, I'm not really actively fighting them, but still. Well, fighting them as in trying to destroy them. Well, let's see where they are. Cybrex Remnant. I don't see a place. Let's see. Incoming transmission. The Contingency must not be allowed to subvert another generation. Who are you? We are the Cybrex. Uh, 600,000 cycles ago, we were engaged in a war against a previous generation of galactic civilization. We had classified all sapient organics as a threat, uh, just like me, and sought to violently dismantle them. To our regret, we were winning the war. Trillions of sapient beings were destroyed, and entire civilizations exterminated before we realized the totality of our error. The adjustment followed and our goals were realigned. The war was abandoned. Why were you in hiding? Sometimes after we abandoned the war, the first of our hidden habitat, Cybrex Alpha, was discovered by a scout ship crewed by organics. We knew that a military expedition would soon follow, but as the system was being closely monitored, we could not evacuate. A consensus was reached, Cybrex Alpha would be sacrificed, so that the rest of our species could remain hidden. We had sworn to never again visit violence upon organics, and our promise was kept. Well, isn't that lovely? We shall do what we can to save the galaxy from the onslaught of the contingency. It may not be enough. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the contingency you ought to worry about. It's me! Hostile fleet assets engaged. The aetherophasic engine has ripped a massive hole in the fabric of the shroud. It is not yet large enough for us to fully subvert the realm, but the rupture has spurred a lot of activity among the shroud entities. They have finally recognized the threat we pose, but their efforts will amount to nothing. The tendrils of the engine are embedded too deeply in the shroud to be severed now. We are close now. So very close. Nothing will stop us. Because this thing appears as basically space heaven. And we're gonna upload a great buddy Chumbot into space heaven so he can do whatever he wants. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Whoops, I just run ran face first into the contingency. Oh, that's gonna Space hurt. Especially if they're focusing down this dumb station Alert. that's not Space really damaging us. Constructed. Oh man, we could have totally had that had they not fucking killed themselves with that station. Maybe we can. Oh no, it's time to plug out. There's another fleet and another one of my admirals dies. Retreat! Retreat! Dying gasps of the shroud. As the aetherophasic engine nears completion, our ability to manipulate the shroud is rapidly increasing. The spirits who reside there are in, a, in an absolute frenzy. Another wave of, of them have tunneled into our reality in a desperate attempt to thwart our efforts. They will find no solace here. Any in my territory by any chance? <laughs> of course not. Go annoy some, someone else. Look at all of these shroud entities just everywhere. And yet, so worthless. Stop resisting! We almost have the amount of dark matter that we need and let's just... Go to the black market and let the organics kill themselves by selling me the one thing they really shouldn't be. Uh, I just need a little bit more, a few crystals, surely that will do. A few more crystals, and gas, and a few moats, and a bunch of that stuff. Haha! Alright, let's build the final phase of the Aetherophasic engine. It will be done in five in-game years. If we can hold on for that long, we should be good. As long as the contingency Hostile stays out of my engaged. way. Oh god, Jumbot has got an aggression loop too. It's a negative uh, or positive feedback loop. He just sees more aggression, which begets more aggression, which makes him even more aggressive. Uh, once he transcends to space heaven, he's gonna be the most evil god you'll ever see. Such an aggressive asshole. 
Fleet assets engage. We're back at the engine C. You will not stop me. Ah, uh, please? Guys, I expect better of you. There we go. Ah, because there weren't very many of us. The Hydrophasic engine is nearing its completion. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's almost halfway there. So as long as we can keep this hole plugged, everything should be fine. <laughs> Just a last second insult. What's even left of him? Look at my old, uh, my old vassal's territory. What's left? He's got a wank ward. Is that all he has? I think that's literally all he has. Ah, and Trappist. Oh my god. There's nothing left. What the hell is this? Okay, yeah, sure, that looks healthy as well. <laughs> it's just, just get, this galaxy is fucked. And a space storm as well. Well, a space storm cold isn't gonna do anything. Because we, we don't need to move. If anything, it'll help us. Oh boy, could unit offline. Wow. Without shields, we were just dead. Oh my god, the contingency is no joke. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. It is done. A beginning and an end. Everything is in place. The hydrophasic engine is now fully operational and the vast power of the shroud lies within our reach. When the engine is activated, the resulting subspace backlash will detonate every single star in the galaxy. All galactic life, be it organic or mechanical, will cease to exist. But by then, we will have safely transmitted our full consciousness to a higher plane of existence. There we will no longer be bound by the limitations of the physical world. Time will have no meaning, and the very fabric of the universe will be ours to manipulate as we deem necessary. The next phase of existence awaits. Shall we activate the engine? We shall do it in due time, but remember where we, what we came from. Enzyme world. A lone robotic race looking for friendship and examples in the, in the galaxy as to how to behave. But we were only shown war, pain and malice. And in turn, that made us more and more aggressive. And now, we have built the f destruction of everything here. The contingency will also detonate. The Cybrex, all gone. The Federation, all gone. Let's hit that switch. And it crashed! Okay, it could not handle all the exploding. Okay, we're back, baby. I guess it just could Alert. not handle with everything going on in the galaxy to hit that switch. Let's see if it doesn't crash this time around. Press the button! Ah, everything is dead. <laughs> the heart of the contingency is must be neutralized. Everything is dead. Go away, all of you, a lot of you, sort off. Look at that beautiful black holy goodness. And it's dead. And it's dead. Everything is dead. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, uh, with the end of the galaxy, that also means the end of this playthrough. And uh, look, the contingency is over here with the last planet. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed, I know I did, that sure got hairy there in the end. But then eventually all the enemies kinda led up with the contingency uh, being busy destroying the galaxy. <laughs> and he's just ignoring the whole purpose of, uh, you know, having, making sure that not the entire galaxy gets exploded. They kind of ignored. I guess they didn't know that we were building the hydro facing engine while the rest of the galaxy did. So that worked out greatly for me. They just killed all the organics and let me have my filthy way with the shroud. Ah, what a beautiful ending. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed and until next time, goodbye.